What's up ladies and gentlemen and my name is Lenny Black Angel and I'm here to tell you about my travel trip back to Africa. So from the UK um, I booked um, Qatar Airways um, to go to Africa and I booked this like five months or six months um, before uh, Africa is a familiar environment. Africa is where I come from um, Zimbabwe South Africa. I've got a lot of friends there and all of that and also just to go there just made more sense so I planned for it um, as far as plane tickets and all of that go way before so I booked with Qatar Airways now we're gonna get into um, my journey to Africa. So I went to Zimbabwe in South Africa, but then before I I, I went there um, on on a on a weekend before I went there because I my flight was on a Tuesday. So on a weekend before I went there, my mom and my pops came to see me, and then we had Sunday roast. Um, it was on a Sunday, so we had Sunday roast. It's a British tradition. The British love it. Monday I was packing, and then I travelled um, to a, a premier hotel which is near the airport that's in Birmingham because my flight was in Birmingham. So I stay in Worcester. So it's not really, it's like, it's like less than an hour to get to, to, to Birmingham. So I, I booked a hotel that is just close to the airport so that, cause my flight was like at 6 AM. So it was going to be much more easier. Premier hotel was really nice. It was a beautiful hotel, especially there, there, there. And when you get there, you actually um, just, sign in yourself like you've got your ticket everything they have these big computers that you can just go and just punch in your ticket and then you get your room number and all of that it was really nice and then um uh so this is my room tour uh premier hotel just before my flight this is uh the bathroom tour and then these are the rooms here this is the the bigger <laughs> king size bed and then they also have a smaller um single bed and then there's this here there's a mirror here and then the tv and outside there's literally nothing <laughs> it's just nothing there but yeah this is the room tour and these are my bags before going to the airport i also ate there um i also ate at premier hotel um i would say food is a little bit expensive um in in the uk especially comparing to what i had when i was now in south africa you can you can like really see that oh okay i think my meal one drink i think was almost seven pounds almost seven quid for one drink and then i also had like a, a burger and chips and that was like 14 or 15 or something like that i think the whole meal was like 20 pounds so i'll reference that in the future um so after that early in the morning i just woke up and got to birmingham airport to be honest birmingham airport is kind of small i was expecting it to be bigger because it's like when i came to the uk i used um Heathrow and Heathrow like huge and you walk around to all these different places you've got Birmingham airport is just like Birmingham airport just like it's even smaller than the harare airport so i then got into my flight qatar airways and in qatar airways um it was really nice it wasn't my first time there um so i i would like to say I was a little bit uncomfortable because I'm I'm a tall gent. I'm I'm really I'm really tall. <laughs> so the the seats there, you do not have room for your legs a little bit in the economy seats. So you, you that, I think that was my biggest struggle. I think with with my with, with my back and my upper body, I think I was a little bit okay on the seat. But with the legs, it was like okay, should I cross them sideways? Should I like I you know? So it was like <laughs> it was like that. Um, I would like to say the food. I didn't. I didn't quite enjoy um, the food as much when we were going. I don't know if I took the food when we were going. I'm not sure if I took the food actually, but I didn't quite enjoy the food as much. But then, um, whether I took the food or not, I'll probably just um, show 
um, the food if I took it here. So I took a flight to from from Birmingham Airport. I went all the way to to Doha in Qatar, um, and then I reached Doha, um, and they never looked at my passport. They were not interested in all of that. Um, I think I was connecting, so obvious they're not gonna be interested in that. But they were interested in customs. Yo, they will set you like. Cha, 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 cha. You want to look for things there. You know, you sometimes you start thinking, oh, do I have anything? F filling all your pockets. What do I have? <laughs> but then, yeah, the cast after the customs, I went to the into the airport. And the first time I went to Doha Airport was when I was coming to the UK. So I didn't like stay that much in Doha Airport. You know, I didn't I didn't like have a feel of Doha Airport like that. But ooh, let me tell you, Doha Airport was very beautiful. My that airport is like what the future needs to look like that's it, it's like it's like if elon musk had an airport and people say the the one in in in, in dubai is is much nicer i would actually love to go to dubai just to see in abu dhabi and all of that but the door airport was just nice i'll insert um the 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 the, the, the videos and it even had um a garden like inside the airport there was like a garden area and all of that my flight was like nine hours and no not 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 my flight my connecting time was like nine hours it was so long and apparently you can get free accommodation from the airport like if you tell them in a, in like way before and i didn't do that so i didn't know about that so i didn't do that but when i finally got onto the plane um, so then, okay, so before we get to the plane, um, we are now checking in to get to the plane. So I see this other tall guy, and I'm like, oh, who's this tall guy? So I look at him, I couldn't like really recognize him. And then um, I get onto the plane. So now we, 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 we're loading, we're getting onto the plane. Now this is now the door to, to Harare plane. And this guy starts walking in, and I recognize him. I was like, oh, that's um, Len Moore. Um, learn more the one that um, um was on um America's Got Talent, the comedian. So he then sat in my row, but um in the middle. So I was at the at the window. Um do they call it a window? Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. But I was at the window and then there were like three um seats. So I was at the window and then there were like two other seats, and then he was seated in the first seat by the by, by the by the middle row. So I was like, oh, that's Len Moore, John. That's Len, Len Moore. Um, what's his name? That's, yeah, that, but that's, yeah, that's Len Moore. He used to be called Long John, but now he just goes by Len Moore. And then um, the flight started going on well. I can say the food was the same. There was this um, food they, 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 they said um, it was, um, they, were, they were saying, do you want the cheese or do you want the chicken or whatever, whatever. So when on my flight from, from, from um, Birmingham to Doha, I took, the chicken and then now i actually wanted to take the cheese one because i was like cheese 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 did i not say chicken i was like oh, why did you say chicken again it wasn't nice guys it was like i don't know the eggs that we like what nah that thing wasn't nice i was just eating just to eat but the buns the buns were fresh they were hot i don't know if you guys have experienced qatar airways but their buns are so nice um on both planes for drinks i was having um whiskey with um 100 juice i was having whiskey 100 juice whiskey 100 juice to be like oh whiskey whiskey and then 100 juice on the side and then i'll mix it on my own or i'll just take the whiskey <laughs> mix it but i was having whiskey and 100 juice um so then on the flight um i got the chance to talk to lenmore um lenmore jonasi think lenmore jonasi so I got the chance to talk to Lenmo Jonasi and he told me his journey on um on um um on, on America's Got Talent. He told me how he then ended up being fifth, how he prepared for it, his life in the United States. I didn't get to take him a video because I think our conversation lasted about three hours. We had like a long conversation, so it was like we were in the moment. Like I never like really thought of, oh, let me get you like a picture or let me get you a video or whatever because we were like having a back and forth and he was telling me, oh, this is what I want to do in Chimani Mani. I've met this person. They also want to, yeah, so it was like, and then I was also suggesting, oh, you know what? You can do this, 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 this. And he liked some of the things. And then, you know, we were just going back and forth. And it was like a three hours with Lenmo Jonasi was fine. 
he was all right and then um we went to the airport i arrived and then it wasn't good i was like oh another airport is improving like it looks nice towels everything the building they they're like really making it like really 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 nice and then my brother came to collect me um then i was i don't think i took my brother to collect me it was like a fast thing where you just go and and the visitors parking so it's not really like a parking it's like a load and go so he just comes he parks we have to like get our bags really quick into the car and then get into the car we are on our way because you can get claimed there if you stay too long so you can't even move out of the car come somewhere so it's like we're communicating oh come here and, blah, blah, blah. and then that was it just after that uh my brother we went home and oh, it was really good getting, getting home bro it was really really good just seeing harare just after a long time and it was hot it was so it was so hot it was like 36 degrees i'm like what i left it there when it was cold in the uk and now it's hot here and i'm just enjoying the sun first night we went out straight away we're like we're going out <laughs> we're going out and then we went out we had a few drinks blah, 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 blah. came back home second night we went out again <laughs> now nah, that was dope we went out again and then after that um two after no actually um second day with the night as well we went to cricket we want to watch cricket it was like local cricket zimbabwe now is like local cricket and i was like really fun if i, if I was staying in zimbabwe i would love to always be going there to maybe most of their matches maybe not all their matches but most of their matches cricket is like a lovely environment it's like really fun you get to do a lot there it's like there's all the types of food you want like different types of people you meet there and it's just the singing the singing there'll be sometimes we'll be singing vulgar but they'll be singing really good yeah so we went for cricket and it was really nice and then after that um i then um went to the airport my brother took me to the airport and then at the airport i took my flight um to south africa so i took um fly sfa to go to south africa and guys i want to tell you something i do not i, I do not want to book fly sfa ever again i do not have like i don't know if it's the cheapest but may that poverty not locate me no but no not not really not really not to say that everyone that books fly, fly sfa like look you are flying but come on guys the standard of fly sfa it's not really that like oh, come on man there was no food they wanted us to buy food and i was so thirsty i wanted i wanted something to drink there was nothing i was like oh come on what can we do now because i don't know man and 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 when you're going there it's like it doesn't feel premium it feels like you are in a coach show because it's like three this side and three that side but the seats are not that modern they're like the coach kind of seats it, it was like what are we are, am, I, am, I, am i in a in a bus or whatever it's like my if i'm to compare that to my experience with greyhound because gray on clothes now i think even intercape the seats there and and the comfort that you get in intercape or ground that was like lovely what you get in in in, in fly sfa not even close to and i think ground used to buy us food i think so no i don't think i don't i think for the south african trip they never got us food but then even though you you know what you're getting and the seats are good it's like a dreamliner this one was like ah, come on and i was sitting at the back like back 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 like the back seat like the back like the last ones to be approached <laughs> but what are we getting approached for because there's no food there <laughs> like nah nah that wasn't the one but when i got there um i tried to put my cell c line <sighs> why did i think my cell c line would still be working <laughs> like i tried to put my cell c line um and it wasn't working and um it's been like three years since i've used it so obviously it won't be working but then yeah i tried to put my selfie line and it wasn't working and now i'm connected to the um to the to the to the to the wi-fi the airport wi-fi and i'm communicating with my friend because in essay i was going to stay at my friend's place so i'm now communicating with my friend oh i'm now there so i'm gonna um order uber and then i ordered first of all before i ordered uber i met these guys um it's like a taxi there taxi thing uber thing like not uber thing but it's like the meter taxi meter taxi at the airport so the meter taxi guy is like okay where do you want to go i'm like i'm going to where's i going i'm going to 
run back. I'm going to run back. I'm forgetting the actual place, but I was going to run back. So I was like, I'm going to run back. Um, can you check how much it is to go to this place? Did this guy not take me to this table? And then they put out this book. Um, and then they start going, pa, 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 pa. oh, this is where you're going. Run back. Pa. 700 runs. I was like, <laughs> my guy, 700 runs for me to go to run back. <laughs> okay. No, you, you know what? I, I'm coming. Zobuya, I know. Don't worry, Baba. Hands up. Don't worry, Baba. Zobuya, no, I'm coming. And then I was like, Cha! I dipped. And then I checked Uber. And Uber was saying like 280 or something like that. I was like, These guys wanted me to pay 700 when this thing is like 280. My Uber was even expensive because apparently, maybe I'm coming from the UK. My Uber knows because I was using, I use my Uber in the UK from home to, to Birmingham Airport to from home to 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 premier hotel so i think maybe they knew that i was coming from the uk and it was 280 apparently it's even supposed to be like 200 or 190 or something like that but it's fine i took my uber to my friend's place and my sosie wasn't working so it was like hey uber driver can you call my friend to just open the gate for me whatever and then the uber driver did that and then i went in with my friend and then after that um as i as soon as i got in with my friend we catched up for like maybe an hour or so then I was on my way um, to meet someone else, and we went for for like a for like a dinner sort of like thing. I yeah, I, I won't share too much of that, but I went for a dinner, and this was like a for me. I really wanted pasta. Like in the UK, I even like really got good pasta like good creamy pasta like all the stores are always disappointing. The pasta is either small, either not cooked well, whatever. It's never as nice the only thing that you can like really get nice in the uk is steak they know how to put the steak and then they put the mesh and whatever they know how to do those things so i ordered pasta and um um the other person ordered um oxtail and like they think it had oxtail and some other meat um um i think oxtail ribs or and then she had um mesh there and then that was it and then the, for the sides we had tacos um and then we also had wings and then we had our drinks and all of that and that pasta was creamy and really nice probably one of the best pastas i've ever had um the store we went to is um i'm trying to remember but it's in rosebank um where's my phone okay so the store we went to i'm forgetting what the store is but yeah um i'm trying to remember but i'm forgetting but yeah that was like really um nice i'll probably write it down here yeah? Um, the store that we went to and then after that um i decided to go back to my friend's place and then we prepared and then we went out so i had like more other friends like my oma more more of my south african friends that were coming and um um i've posted one of them on on um on ig and you guys know we have a song together um renilwe um Bospi. we have a song together and all of that and um she arrived and then like everyone else, I think, was already there because two of them stay at the apartment where I was staying, where, at my friend's place where I was staying. So, Bospi is the one that had to travel because um, she's working, I think, outside of Jobek. So, she had to travel and then come. Um, and we went out um, to the club. And we, at the club, we literally bought like a bottle and a few drinks and all of that. And it was like a lovely time. We went to Rivonia, um, the palace. Oh, that was like that was like a that was like a lovely night. I also met Celeste as well. It was really nice. Um, it was it was a good time. It was like a really good time. So, we left the palace at five. Yeah, we left the palace at like five a.m. and then we went back home, and we've been having this bottle and stuff. And you know, we 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 Ubered there, back home. So we've been having like a bottle, and it was finished. And you can imagine. We slept. We like slept until like one p.m. Like there were there were plans. Okay, during the day we're gonna go to to this place and we're gonna do quad bike and we're gonna do this. We're gonna do activities. Did we not sleep until like two p.m. one p.m. They waking up. They're like, oh, guys, oh, what's going on? I think we need a braai. <laughs> I think we need a braai. We need. <laughs> so yeah, when we woke up, started planning. Like what can we do today um and there was no option for us to like do anything for us 
other than to just go out again because we spend the whole day sleeping that's the one thing about alcohol you drink and then you need like some time to like recover from whatever you're drinking and then you you go again you also need time so um on saturday night now that was like friday night when we went to the palace on saturday night we went to maboneng and guys let me just tell you something For, before we went to maboneng we went to bramfontein we wanted to check out this spot with Brian Brian Fontaine, but it wasn't giving. So we were like, okay. But for me, I was even happy to be in Brian Fontaine because I had been in Brian Fontaine for like, I don't know, five, six, seven years. And yo, it, it just, it technically looked the same, to be honest. It looked the same, but it, it just, it was just that feeling of, okay, I'm stepping in Brian Fontaine. It just reminded me of the good old days. <laughs> So we then decided to go to Maboneng and Maboneng was nice. First restaurant we went to Maboneng to eat and all of that was Pata Pata. It was Pata Pata, right? Yeah, 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 it was Pata Pata. And oh, guys, Pata Pata is lovely. The food was so nice. The food was so nice. But not only the food, like the platter that we had in Pata Pata, how big it is if it was in the UK. Oh, come on. <laughs> Would have been paying a fortune for that. There was like, pap there was like dumplings there was like all sorts of meat it was really lovely and then um pata pata also had, also had like live music like they were playing marimba and um the band and all of that and it was like they are playing a song that you know but in their own marimba version and ah uh, that was like that was like, like that that live band should just perform in like a concert or something like that in like not a concert in like a yeah yeah it's a festival in they should come they should perform in festivals <laughs> We then decided, no, we're not going back home. We're going to rooftop. And you guys know how rooftop is. It's always rocking all the time. It's always rocking. So party, 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 party in rooftop. So now I go to the dance floor. And I'm like, so they were playing hip hop. They were playing, you know, reggae. They are playing all of these sorts of music. But they were not playing Ama Piano. And then all of a sudden, Ama Piano just comes up. So now I go to the dance floor. I'm like, oh, Ama Piano is playing. Let me just go to the dance floor and just check out what's going on. And then when we're there by the dance floor, ba 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 I see that guy that's playing looks like Musa Keys. I'm like, hey, this looks like Musa Keys. And then the person I was with, I was like, yeah, that actually looks like Musa Keys. So I went back now to, to my other friends. I'm like, I think I saw Musa Keys. I, I, the guy playing looks like Musa Keys, but you know, people look the same and whatever. So one of Musa Keys starts, one of Musa Keys songs starts playing. I'm like, that should be Musa Keys. So I went back to the dance floor and definitely it was Musa Keys. So by default, I didn't even know Musa Keys was going to be there at rooftop. But by default, I saw him. Rooftop is so nice. Guys, Maboneng is like, Maboneng, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, it's not safe. But it's like when you're partying in Maboneng, you just feel the vibe of partying in Maboneng. After that, we went back home. And then after going back home, we slept in the morning. I woke up and um, I decided I'm going to see my friend first in Midrand. I saw my my bongwe. And then after that, I went to see my uncle. And then my uncle took me to the airport. And then at the airport, I checked in. I was like running really fast. And also to, to put that in as well, to just sneak in um, my friend um um Renilo boss p is the one that was like like ubering everything like you know my cell c wasn't working so i didn't have, if i wasn't on wi-fi i didn't have data so she's the one that was like hot spotting me she's the one that was like um ubering me everywhere to go so she's the ubered from um our friend's place where we were staying all the way to my friend my bonus place and then but from my bonus place to Mall of Africa. And then at Mall of Africa, she decided to just shock me. And then she bought me shoes. Imagine she bought me a whole Jordan 1 shoes. I'm just going to insert those shoes. Where are my shoes? Oh, they are my shoes, but they're too far. I can't really go and get them. But then she decided to buy me shoes. And that was like really love. I was like, what? what? I'm getting shoes. I, I don't think I've ever got like a present before. Like a big, big, big present before. Now I'm getting shoes like a whole shoe like 
sucks like someone is deciding to get into a nike store a nike store and buy you shoes it's like wait yo this friendship is deep <laughs> but yeah i love my friend um after buying me shoes um she stayed at mall of africa and then she ubered me again she ubered me to my uncle's place so eh, renelio was working she was ubering me everywhere she was buying me shoes she was like it was <laughs> it was happening <laughs> so she ubered me to my uncle's place and then i got there spoke to my uncle i was running late so my uncle then drove me um to the airport and it was really nice seeing my uncle after a long time as well actually didn't take a picture or a video with my uncle because it was like so fast when i go to my uncle i was like oof i'm left to like two hours to check in and it's like maybe 45 minutes or an hour to get to the airport so it was like pa, 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 pa. okay so we started talking more on our way to the airport but yeah i love my uncle and now when i get to the airport um uh I get onto fast jet and I would like to say that plane was so small. I thought, guys, are we going to survive here? Like, I was so scared because that's like the small, I think that's like the smallest plane I've ever been on. Like, it was so small that, like, guys, it was so small. It was really, really small. I don't think, no, I think I could stand, but then, yo, it was so small. So I was sitting towards the front of the of the plane and um the service guys i just want to talk about the fast jet service not SA, a fly sa fly sa fair no fast jet is the one no if you want to book something just book with fast jet yeah the plane is small it's a little bit scary it's very scary but then we had food i'm gonna insert the food that we got it was like a box that you could open and then there's like a juice there there's like a chocolate there there's like few other things and then they also give you water and then they also had like a sandwich thing um remember on Qatar airways when the food wasn't nice and i was picking chicken instead of um the cheese one although i don't know if the cheese one was gonna be nice now i was like cheese <laughs> cheese <laughs> cheese cheese <laughs> so i took the cheese sandwich and it was all right it was all right it was okay it was you know you know uh, bread with cheese yeah and then a little bit of some salads and so it was it was pretty nice but i was just enjoying the fact that they've got like good service they give you the food just fly sfa just increase the the amount of of, of the of the of the of the ticket by like i don't know 50 rand or whatever and then cater for food like that just even if it's just a two hour flight it it makes a difference then i go back to zimbabwe my brother comes and picks me up as usual and what happens on the first night when i land as usual we go out but now we went out to um um what's this place uh we went out to uh i think it's it's uh but it's called gem tree we went out to gem tree right so when we went out to gem tree we bought like these big um um cocktails it was like long island cocktails but it was like this big jar and yeah that was that was that was really nice i also took the guy like doing that with the cocktails no diddy but he was doing that with the cocktails um so after that we then back, went back home and i think was like a little bit chilled it was a little bit chilled i was also meeting up with some of my other friends and you know i'm not gonna like put everything in but the whole time i was just meeting up with some of my other friends then me and my brother were like going to other places just to chill just to hang out and all of that and um we at some point we went to a chinese store actually there's a story with this chinese so one of my other friends came and then me my brother and my other friend went to the chinese store and um we bought noodles so we had like um beef noodles and, and pork noodles and these other things i don't know what they're called but i'm sure i'll i'll insert in the video there so when we bought noodles we're now eating did these chinese not like go on us like like they surrounded us and started watching us and talking and as if it was like a crazy thing that black people are eating noodles i was like you guys are in in a black country 
you guys are when at the airport you're saved by black people you saw black people everywhere when you're driving along everyone in these cars were black people when you were doing business or opening this i'm sure the people that built this place are black people like you've been seeing black people and i'm sure black people also come and buy from your store but then what's going on but they have this other store the chinese store that is like a lot of things like noodles and whatever my brother also bought like two of them and then we tried them one one and then those were nice they, they were like a little bit of veggies like a such a thing a little bit of veggies inside with the noodles so when you do a two minute or three minutes or whatever noodles you also then put those veggies up things and and it kind of like is like a full meal sort of like thing so you're just thinking if you could get these things and you know people that are uh, are not well off are hungry and you know the needy you could give them this is like a quick meal i don't know if it's healthy though I, I, I wouldn't know about that then fast forward to i hope i didn't leave out any other important things in zimbabwe but fast forward to jacaranda festival so we decided oh let's go to jacaranda festival and jacaranda festival was nice and guess who else was performing at jacaranda festival Musa Keys. So I saw Musa Keys in South Africa and I saw Musa Keys at Jacaranda Festival. And one thing I can say, Musa likes to say, Musa, we wanna party. Musa, we wanna party. And um, one thing I also saw about Musa Keys is he's like a DJ and a performer at the same time. So you would, in South Africa, he started off by doing the DJ work and then he went and gave you a performance because he's got music and he's a, he's a musician. But then in, in, in Zimbabwe, he started off by doing the performance. And then he was like, hey, guys, I'm going to DJ for you. Then he started DJing. And you could see even when he left the stage, you could see he really wanted to continue DJing. So that's a, a big thing. Jagaranda Festival was just nice. Um, when you got there, I had like, um, we had, I went there with my brother. We had um, fish, no, no, not fish, chicken and chips. And it was cooked in like the Nando's way. And it was like really nice. Um, five dollars i think for that getting into the jacaranda festival was like thirty dollars it was a bit pricey per person but it was okay and we went in with our cooler box so we had our own on alcohol i won everything there and we had the master edge from zimbabwe perform there as well fellow lady performed there um who else oh ma, ma, mu, mu, murumba murumba they're like from victoria falls the tsonga they also performed there and they gave a really great performance to be honest with you a live band and a really great performance even if you do not have um the proper the, the 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 songs like the hit songs or whatever people are still going to enjoy so after that i think who else oh um um from from black motion um um Meda also performed it was he was really good i like he does those dances where he spins and whatever it was he was really really good and then after that um after that, actually, there was a lot of dust at this festival. There's like a lot of dust. So you're breathing in a lot of dust. So you start feeling that dust after, especially the night before or the, 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 the day after. The night after or the day after. Then that, that same night when you get home or the day after, you start feeling the dust. So maybe next time if I go to like a festival, I'll go like with a mask. You know, that designer mask or whatever. That will just protect me. But at the same time, I'll just keep the, the swag and whatever in check. Yeah, I think that's what I would probably do next time that I go. That it was really, really nice. Um, after that, um, I don't think there's anything much big to say. Um, I just, um, when I was now going back home, well, I went to buy the foodstuffs that I wanted. Um, I bought a couple of things. Um, maybe I might um, check out one or two things. But yeah, I bought a couple of things. And then after that, we we on the day when i was going we went to merek just before like merek is this bright place where they do bright 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 and you know it's like a cool place but on weekends it's usually picked but when they like afternoon in the afternoon on an on a regular day so it wasn't pegged like that but then they have these um different kitchens outdoor kitchens that braai for you that cook pub for you so i bought we bought chicken, like a full chicken with pap and salads. Um, and then um, I also wanted road runner. So I bought like a road runner plate and then we ate. And then my brother drove me to the airport. And then I go to the airport. I actually, actually realized that the Zimbabwean airport is improving. Like you could, you can see like the, the departure places. They're like a lot now. 
and then they changed as well where you 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 go for your departure. It's like it's like big, and and it it looks there's a lot of lighting. It looks classy. Everything is, you know, the customs area also looks really good. When you get into the airport, I I even texted my brother that hey, this is loud. Like this is really good. It's getting to the standards. Like they're really renovating the airport, which is what we love to see. It was like looking really proper. And then my brother was like, oh, you should take a video. But then. By the time I texted him, I was almost getting to my check-in time and for me to just stand up and start taking a video. But I think I did sneak in something, especially when I was going to South Africa. I did sneak in uh, taking some videos. So I might just insert one or two um, videos. But then it's looking really, really, really nice. Um, and then after that, I flew um, back to the UK. In Qatar Airways... Um, from Zimbabwe, we stopped in Zambia for a little bit. And, oh, it was like a boring stop. And then we went to Doha. I didn't stay that much in Doha this time. And then I flew all the way to Birmingham. Birmingham Airport. I, I don't know. I need to expand it. At least Zimbabwe Airport is now looking bigger and nicer than Birmingham Airport. So at least they're doing something. But, you know, we, if it's the main airport in Zimbabwe, then we're comparing it to like Heathrow and... and and Gatwick and all of those other airports because I'm sure Birmingham is like a small airport that they just put on the side where like planes can land there and all of that but the main ones are like the ones in London because London carries the economy um, of Britain or of UK um, and then yeah that was it that was it about my trip did I enjoy my trip really very much I just want to thank everyone that took time after so long not seeing everyone that just came out and um came to see me like i i don't take that for granted i i i am really appreciative of everyone that really came out and took the time to really want to see me that was excited and you know it's really 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 nice i think i didn't really talk much on the food that we had um in other all the other places but there was food i was really interested in having like the traditional food i had this other food called mazondo when we went to merrick the other time i think i'll insert like a picture but yeah it's a uh, real life it's like trotters it's like the cow trotters and this guy was like i'm gonna put um he said there's there's this is he said back medicine there's medicine for the back in that mazondo I'm like oh okay and they're also good with the you know the but yeah, not Didi. Um, so what else did I want to have? I actually wanted to have chicken licken, but I never got the chance to have chicken licken. It was like really fast when I was in SA. I also wanted to have quarter, but I never got the chance to have quarter in SA because it was really fast. But then um, what other food did I really have that I wanted? The pasta as well. I already spoke about that one. It was really nice. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's, oh, the chicken in, chicken in and not chicken in, mostly pizza in, but chicken in, you just then buy it because you have to also buy it, you know, just to have that chicken in taste. But then the pizza in was what I really wanted. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that has watched up to this end. Um, you everyone, please subscribe, please like this video, um, do all the good things. <laughs> um so i'll catch you guys on the next one um probably i'll do more travel but then i can do other content as well but we'll just be seeing but um just thank you to everyone that has um reached to this point especially if you're subscribed um thank you very much um i think we wrote to 100 subscribers so please make sure to subscribe and do the right thing Danko.